In this video, I want to show you how you can draw, use Excel to draw histogram. Now, you can draw histogram using Excel using data analysis, but we're going to use a function called count f. Now, this is the data that I have. This is a spreadsheet. You can have this spreadsheet uh, with this complete form uh, if you click on the description under my video. So what I've done is, this is the hours of sleep of mammals. So what I've done is, this is about how many mammals? This is about 24 mammals. So I have sorted the hours of sleep in the ascending order. So the first animal weighs 15 kg, and the hours of sleep they need is 2.6 and so on. So this is in kgs, and this is the hours of sleep. So we are looking at hours of sleep, and we want to draw a histogram. So the first thing what I've done is I made this column. This is the hour of sleep. So this is 0 to 1.5, 1.5 to 3. So let me show you if you are doing by hand, how would you do it? So let me show, make up a column of frequency here. Yeah? So how many, you have got how many animals or mammals who sleep between 0 and 1.5? Well, there are none. So you can say 0 there. And between 1.5 and 3, you got 1 and 2. You got two mammals here. So let me do one more. Between 3 and 4.5. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is up to 4.5. 3 to 4.5 means 4.5 is not inclusive here. 4.5 is inclusive here. Let me do one more. Between 4.5 to 6. So it's not inclusive 6. So you got only one. Okay, so let me do <laughs> the final. It is six to seven point five. So this is one, two, three. You got three and and so on. You can understand the pattern. So I want Excel to do the same thing for me by counting. So this is a function called count if. So so how do you do it? So you do use a function called count if. So I'm going to uh, use I'm going to make a new column called the cumulative frequency. So what I'm going to get is a cumulative frequency. And from the cumulative frequency, we can get the frequency. So this is how we do. So let me make this bigger so that you can see what I'm doing. See the formula clearly. So this is equal count if bracket. So what? where do you want Excel to do the counting? You have to define your... Uh, data, so this is from this, your first cell, the first data, and then you go control, shift, down arrow. So that will highlight the whole data. So let me scroll to this side. Now here, this data is not locked. So if I want to lock it, you have to lock it. You have to press F4. If you press F4, you can see a dollar sign appearing. Before, this is dollar C dollar two that means this means this is your data is in from c2 to c25 and then can you see it tells you what's your criteria so i want to cr count all the data which is less than 1.5 so press this and then close the bracket and it will it should give me zero so there are no values which are less than so let me show the data so there are no values which are less than so let me make this smaller Okay, so okay, so let me scroll up. So there's no data less than 1.5. Now, if you just catch the tail and double click, this is the cumulative frequency. So how many data are less than 21? So well, you got all the data less than 21. So that's why this is called the cumulative frequency. Now, to get the frequency from the cumulative frequency. What you have to do is this minus, this minus this will give you, can you see it's zero? I should get zero here. That's what we have done. We have got zero here, I have to get two here, I have to get six here. We have counted it. We have got one here, and we have got three here. So, oh sorry, we have got to three here. So how do you get these numbers? Can you see 12 minus, two minus zero is two. 8 minus 2 is 6, 9 minus 8 is 1, and so on. So let me delete it. I want Excel to do the donkey work. 
So I'll put a zero here and then say equal in this cell I'll go I want this minus this and enter so that is zero and then if you double click can you see that's what we got you got zero zero two two six six and so on so this is a cumulative frequency and this is your frequency so now I want to use this data to draw the histogram so what I need to do is I highlight Okay, hold on. Let me d highlight only the data. Go to insert, column graph, and then the second icon. So this is your, it's not still your histogram. This is only a bar graph. I want to remove the gaps between them. So click on any of the uh, column. All the columns will be highlighted. Go to format data series and make the gaps no gaps 0% and this is your histogram and if you want to bring in the frequency with each column right click add data labels and there we go we got the frequency with the each column so if I want to delete this so we can say that between 0 to 1.5 there is none between 1.5 to 3 you got 3 and so on I want to make this a bit pretty so ha remove the good lines delete it and uh, you can format the so go to title chart center overlay so this is the histogram of sleep of hours of sleep of mammals uh, who or weighing, weighing over 10 kg okay and if you want to make this highlight it go to home go to home Im remove this and you can also decrease the font size say, to 11 you can also move this slightly up so this is your histogram and then of course if you don't want this you can again go highlight first go to layout access title so this is the hours of sleep okay again go to layout access title vertical and make it frequency so this is a histogram of you can copy this you can and paste it on a word document if you want to so this is how you can efficiently draw a histogram of any number of data even if the you have got data set of 300 or 500 or even in thousands it doesn't matter you can draw the histogram by just going through this simple process of using the count if option